So in this video, I'm gonna be opening up and taking a look at the inside of my LG Gram 17 brand new laptop computer I got. I'm going to be increasing the hard drive space as well as increasing the amount of RAM that's inside of this. If you're considering doing the same thing in your laptop, you'll wanna stay tuned. So I just got a chance to open up the LG Gram laptop computer and so far very impressed with it. I have uh, had the chance to play around a little bit but I haven't really installed anything or done any major work because I plan on upgrading the hard drive here as well as the RAM. It only came with 256 gigs uh, for a hard drive space. I'm going to be upgrading uh, that and adding on a one terabyte as well as upgrading the RAM. Uh, came with 16 gigs installed and I'm going to be upgrading it here with a 32 gigabyte stick. One of the reasons why I was researching picking up this particular laptop was because of the fact that it had two slots for memory. So I didn't have to reinstall Windows, I didn't have to go through a lot of work with that. I was able to simply add a second drive to expand the amount of memory I had. And then the fact that you can just pop the RAM out and put a new chip in. I know some computers, some laptops, they have the RAM soldered into them. With the LG, uh, with the Gram, I was able to just pop that out. And that was another uh, great feature that sold me on buying this laptop. So real quickly, the tools and materials I'm going to use to do this upgrade process. So I've got a 32 gig flash drive. I'm going to be using this to back up my Windows operating system. I have my 32 gig stick of RAM I'm going to be upgrading to my one terabyte uh, hard drive, a pair of tweezers, any tweezers will do. I know they've got technical tweezers out there. This is actually my wife's, so thank you Val for letting me borrow this. I promise I will get this back to you, hopefully, when I'm done with it. A mini screwdriver set. I plan on using the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws. And then a small dish, so I've got something to put all the screws into. I'm going to be putting links to everything I'm talking about in this video down in the description below. So feel free to check out the RAM, the hard drive, or any of the tools that I'm using. So before I open up the computer to do the upgrade, uh, as a security feature for myself, in case something goes wrong, uh, I do want to make a backup copy of my Windows uh, operating system. So I can go to my search bar down here and type in create recovery drive and you'll see uh, create recovery drive here. I'll click on that. Do I want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. And then from here I can follow the prompts to create my backup drive. I've got my flash drive here that I'm going to insert into one of my USB slots. I've already done this. I think it took about an hour. Um, I would recommend you do this before you start work on your computer. If you need further details on how to do this, I will put a link down in the description below to Microsoft's website where they have further instructions. So now, let's get to the fun part of opening up the computer. So we want to remove our cover. The cover is held on by 11 of these little screws and they hide these screws under these little plastic discs and these rubber feet. And I've already started prying some of these off, but you can use a small flathead screwdriver as well as your tweezers to just kind of get in between uh, the plastic cover and the rubber feet and start prying up. And once you're able to get that off, I just stuck the rubber feet and the plastic discs right along next to where they're gonna go so I don't lose them. Same thing, I'm gonna try and get the screwdriver right in between the plastic cover. That came off real easy because I already pried all these off for you guys, but I just wanted to show you here you just kind of get your screwdriver underneath. You can get under those plastic covers. And now I'm gonna use my Phillips screwdriver and unscrew all the screws. So with all the screws out, I'm now gonna use a flathead screwdriver, try and get underneath one of the edges of the cover here and pry it up. So hopefully you can see up here in the corner on the bottom cover there's these plastic hinges that curve over and you have to be very delicate when you are removing this plastic piece. Um, you don't want to bend it up too much. You want to try and as level as possible 
keep shimmying the plastic and use your screwdriver very gently to wedge this cover off. If you bend it too much or you use too much force, this plastic is so paper thin, you will probably wind up cracking it. So I've got my other solid state hard drive I'm going to pull out of the packaging. So in looking at the inside, our hard drives are gonna be over here. We have two slots for our hard drives. The first solid state drive here, the 256 is in this slot. I'm going to be inserting my one terabyte into the other slot. And this is the Samsung 970. This is the NVMe stick and we're gonna be Inserting that in here, there is one screw right here that we're gonna to need to loosen. That screw is in there good. I've got some needle nose pliers. I'm gonna see if I can, I don't wanna strip it with the screwdriver, so I'm gonna see if I can loosen it with the pliers. So I was able to loosen that screw. We're gonna pop this out, add it to my dish gonna insert this drive. And I made sure I pushed this drive in enough so all of those contacts are connecting with the board. Next, we're gonna switch out our RAM chip. So I've got my RAM, it's only gonna fit in one way because you've got the notch there. So if I try putting it in here, it's not gonna fit because my notch is over. We're gonna flip this around. We're gonna go ahead and insert it. Just gently pushing it into the slot, making sure that it's making a connection. And then I'm going to go ahead and snap it down snap it into place. And again, just pressing on it gently, making sure that it is making all the connections at the end. From the desktop here, I'm gonna go down and type in manage. That's gonna take me to computer management is what you're looking for. And that is gonna open up computer management. From here, you are gonna to wanna to go to your disk management, and this is going to show all of your drives. We can see our disk zero here, which was the initial hard drive, and then the unknown, which I added here, the 931 gigs, uh, and it's asking to initialize the disk. You must initialize it and uh, use the following partition style for the selected disks. We're gonna do the GPT uh, partition table so in order to use this disk here, I'm going to go to this area and right click. We're gonna do a new simple volume and I'm going to use the simple volume wizard here and click through the prompts, clicking next, uh, minimum disk space, simple volume disk space. Assign the following drive letter. So we can do any drive letter we want. D sounds great. And from here, I'm going to click next. So we're at the format partition here. To be able to store data on this drive, we must format it first. So I've got format this volume with the following settings, the NTFS uh, default, and then if you wanted to give it a name, you could, and uh, we'll click next. I'm performing a quick format. It's giving me an overview. So now we see the new volume D here, and if we jump back to this PC, we're now gonna see my initial drive as well as my new volume drive. So I have access to both drives and I can copy files from one over to the other. The other thing we're gonna take a look at is our installed RAM. So down here, if I type in RAM, I can view my RAM info and under settings, it's going to bring up the information and it's showing here my processor, Intel Core i7, installed RAM right here, 40 gigs. So I have my 32 gig stick that I just installed as well as the eight gigs that's on the motherboard already. So it looks like our RAM and our hard drive install were successful and it's just that easy. So with everything working, I shut down the computer and I'm gonna finish installing the screws and replace all the feet and connectors.
In doing my research online, reading a lot of the comments on Amazon's listing for this computer and for different brands of RAM and things like that, I had seen other people commenting that they had bought other brands besides Samsung for their RAM and their solid state drives and there were some compatibility issues. Uh, I know like it wasn't recognizing drives in people's comments or they were also saying that like the RAM wasn't always working. So you can definitely buy your RAM and drives from other companies. Uh, you just may run into some of those issues where uh, you, you might have to uh, update a driver or go through a few more uh, you know hoops to jump through. I was trying to keep things as easy as possible and keep things simple. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best uh, to, of my ability of knowledge to answer any of them or if you're also reading some of these comments and you've gone through a similar process and you've got some answers to help somebody else out, please leave your comments down below as well. So I've done some other awesome tech videos including reviews of dash cams, uh, Fitbit fitness trackers, showing how I've improved the range on my Wii U console and saving space on my iPhone. So you should definitely check out some of those videos. There'll be a link to my tech playlist here at the end of this video. My name is Jeff. Thanks so much for watching here on Tinker Ford. As always, be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.